How can you do this, Hitch? Put somebody totally unknown, has never acted before. How can you put this woman into, you know, this film that you're going to do? It's going to be a major motion picture. Uh, you know, and Hitch gave me the assurance that I could do it. And Hitch was uh, not only my director, he was my drama coach. You know, I was a very lucky lady. First of all, how did you uh, get that effect of being attacked by the birds? I mean, were you actually pecked or what? I, indeed I was. You know, it took five days to do that scene. I started on a Monday morning, and it was really... I don't know whether Hitchcock did this deliberately, but he, we always planned on using mechanical birds. And the morning that we started this, I was in my dressing room on the set, and the assistant director came in, and, and you know, we were good pals, and he couldn't look at me. And he was looking at the floor and at the walls and the ceiling. I said, what's the matter with you, Jim? And he said, um, we, um, we can't use the mechanical bergs. They don't work. And he split. You know, I went, what? Well, it turns out that they had five prop men with great huge cartons of ravens and seagulls and all those good guys and which they alternately hurled at me for five days. Really? Yes. Shot yeah. Me. Oh, I, by the end of it, by the end of the Friday afternoon, they had me on the floor with little bits of elastic coming through the holes in the dress that the wardrobe lady had put in there with um, uh, ravens and, and seagulls just sort of loosely tied so they'd stay on my body. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're not, they don't take direction well. No, indeed. And um, by the end of that day, one of them was sitting here, and he decided to sit here, and just a little scratch in my eye, and I said, that's enough. And I threw them all off and sat in the middle of the set crying. But the Tears. question I really wanted to ask you as well was, why did you go upstairs in the first place, you see? Because that's one of my favorite moments. Now you're downstairs, <laughs> and you know those birds are up there, and you hear this... And you go up. Why do you go up? Do you know something? I said the same thing. I, I'm, I'm not really a method actress. I, you know, <laughs> but, it, you know, a lot of times you need motivation. Because I said, Hitch, why am I doing this? I mean, she's heard these birds. They've been all over the place. I mean, causing all kinds of terror. I said, why is she going up there? And he said, because I tell you to. <laughs> oh, okay, that's enough Good motivation. Reason, and I, you know. There were a lot of Hitchcocks involved with Mr. Hitchcock. He used to think of himself as being a very simple man. He was extremely complicated. He was kind of con trying to control who I saw, what I, you know, all of those kinds of things. So that became a very, very difficult time for me. I think he became obsessed with this character named Tippi Hedren. He felt that he had created Tippi Hedren. He would not take his eyes off of me. He may be talking to somebody over here, but he was watching me all the time. And it became, it became very difficult. Mrs. Hitchcock came to me on a number of times and said, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you have to go through this or that you're going through this. Um, so she, you know, it was apparent to her. During the filming of Marnie, we, it, everything sort of went fine until probably the last quarter of the, of the shoot. It was a five-month shoot, and um, it eventually got to the point where I, I couldn't stand the control or the trying to control, and I resented it so highly that I finally told him that I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't bear it anymore. Demands were putting, being put onto me that I couldn't uh, acquiesce to. And I said, I need to get out. And um, he told me that I, I, I really couldn't, that I, you know, I had my parents to, to worry about, to my, my daughter. I said, it doesn't matter. I can't, I can't live this way. And he literally said, I'll ruin your career. He kept me under contract. He paid me my little salary every week uh, mm -hmm. for a couple of years. And by that time, all of the people who did want to use me in films, because after Marnie, I, you know, I was hot, you know, and uh, was just told I wasn't available. 
There was never a question of us working together again. It was just a very definite cutoff. And it was by me. I am totally responsible for it. No, I'm not. He is. Thank you.